Hey, good morning, old Slick here. How's all my YouTube fans doing out there today? Hey, let me let me take a second to uh, thank viewers who've been watching this video. I think the uh, number seven that I put up, I think I had almost 450 views. Now, for some of you, uh, that's probably nothing. But just to think that 450 people that most of them I don't know would take the time to uh, watch this silly video. Uh, man, it just touches my heart, seriously. Uh, but also, uh, you know, hey, I just want everybody to understand if you're watching these, you know, I'm this is I'm not the greatest builder in the world, and I, I hope my videos are a little bit entertaining. And, uh, you know, if, and if you like them, hey, go back and watch some of my other videos. I've got probably 300 out there, <laughs> just different things. Yeah, as you know, in my last video, I've gotten up the top, man. Let me show you something I figured out. Never seen this on YouTube, so this is a hack. If you have some of these, so I started this morning, did one, two, three, four, five. At this point, about five bricks is all you want to have. I mixed up enough mix for about five. I did my first one. I put this first clamp on here, and uh, I'm just going down a little, you know, what's, but you got to make sure you got a rock or something in the back before you clamp it. Otherwise, it's going to bend the front up, okay? Now, if I had a bunch, if I had more of these, uh, it would be, I, I could just use them all the way around, but I only had three. So that lets me do one, two, three, four, five bricks at a time. Okay, this is working pretty well. I've gotten this far using the trammel and using the clamps. But I'm getting such big spaces now between here. When I try to set this in, I'm... I'm you probably can't see down there too well, but I am losing a lot of, a lot of this uh, mortar. And uh, I've got about a half a bag to get this finished and then to do my bricks right here in my chimney. So I don't want to waste too much. So uh, even though I'd kind of like to finish it this way, and since I've already purchased that, uh, that ball there, once that ball gets in here, it'll keep so much of that cement from uh, falling, I mean that mortar from falling through. And also, uh, I'm gonna cut some. I'm gonna cut some bricks, maybe a little smaller when I get in here. So that's kind of where I'm going with uh, now. That's why I built this one to disassemble. Check this out. That's why I built this like this. I never could have got it out any other way. Let's go up top, see what it looks like. Oh, sweet. <laughs> oh, man, that's going to be good. Okay, you see, I'm just kind of piecing this together. Okay, uh, got a lot of cement on here, which you can see this a little better, but uh, I just kept cutting little pieces and uh, got it finally filled in. Now what I'm gonna do with uh, the remainder of this, I'm gonna really fill in some of these gaps as good as possible. Okay, we uh, got it all done. Surely letting look as good as most of the ones you see those guys do on the internet, on YouTube, but uh, I, I think it goes without saying they're better at this than I am, but structurally, this thing is going to be sound. So that's what we're going to mix up now. I'm going to mix it up like a snowball consistency. So we can handle it. And... Yeah, you got this mixed up. That's why I like that. We're going to try this out. Look at all those cracks. I put that refractory mortar on the top real well. That's going to be the hottest spot. And like I said, I think filling the rest of this in with perlite is going to be a better go. I can't work in video at the same time. Hundred fifty bricks. That's that's what I had left. 
Ben is putting the uh, perlite. I had to go get another bag and used about a half of it to touch up. It's been about two days since I poured those top bricks. So I'm just to come in here and take this out and hope the roof don't fall in. Once I get up, get this out, I need to go inside and uh, try to clean up the floor a little bit. And then I'm also gonna, as much as I can, gonna reach up, because I know where I've squeezed some of those bricks together, I've had a little extra mortar that's gonna be hanging around on the inside of this. I didn't hear any bricks fall, so maybe we're gonna be all right. <laughs> all right. Probably gonna be able to see anything, but. Actually, Kamsley. Okay, see, like, got some of that extra. I'm gonna try to get in and see if I can get in there and knock some of that down because I'm worried that it's going to uh, uh, maybe you know get real hard or something. Maybe dry out later and uh, land on somebody's pizza. Okay, right, hey, next step. Okay, yeah, I got my head stuck inside of here looking and see that's what I was kind of afraid of right here. I mean, everything else is okay, it's, you know, it's just not as neat as I'd like to be. But I'm in here, I'm knocking all the little pieces off that I want to break off. And, uh, but as I look up here, I got some big holes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up some more of uh, this mortar and I'm gonna get it kind of, uh, make it kind of tacky so I can make some balls out of it and I'm gonna, Stick it like in that hole, in that hole, in that hole. Yeah, I was able to uh, lay down. If I stuck, I could stick one arm and my head in here, and I was able to uh, break away a couple of little uh, little pieces the, uh, of mortar, loose pieces of mortar that you know I was afraid it was going to fall down. And also, uh, you know, I think of some of the last pictures you get when I showed up top, and I patched all that up. I've got that done, so I'm not going to be able to start this fire today. But I'm going to go ahead and get it ready. And tomorrow. Fire that giant. We're gonna fire that giant oven. And also, uh, I want some smoke. I want to make sure I don't see any smoke coming out of this. Make I'm, you know, I'm looking for cracks. If I've got a problem, I need to do it. Take care of it now because once I put this other part in here, I will not be able to reach in there anymore. I'm just gonna make a small fire in here and. Uh, just to check for any leaks or cracks. A little smoke going, a little heat going, and because uh, there's any cracks, I need to fix them now before I uh, continue with the thermal blanket and the rendering layer and before I build the uh, entranceway as well. <laughs> got a little cold. Finally got a fire. Now, I don't know if you can see this, on the video, right there, a little bit of smoke coming up. So which means I'm going to have to get in there and patch inside of this area. Well, I was able to get that hole patched up without any problems. And there was no more smoke coming out of the dome. So, well, in the meantime, old Slick knows y'all gonna do what you're gonna do, so y'all be particular. All right. <laughs>